In early February 2023, Google announced its new AI chatbot called Bard. In this video, we'll look at what Bard is, what it can do, why one Google engineer claimed it was sentient, and why its demo caused a $100 billion drop in Google stock valuation. Please do subscribe if you find any of my videos useful, it really helps this small channel grow. Let's start with what Bard actually is. Bard is an artificial intelligence based chatbot that is built on Google's Lambda language model. It is effectively used to answer the questions people ask it in a human like way. In Google's own words, the Bard chatbot is supposed to be used to explain complex subjects such as outer space discoveries in terms simple enough for a child to understand. It also claims the service will perform other more mundane tasks such as providing tips for planning a party or lunch ideas based on what food is left in a refrigerator. In the demo, Google asked it what new discoveries from the James Webb telescope can I tell my nine-year-old about. Bard then uses the enormous language model it's based on to provide a human-like response and understand context and detail to provide an answer fit for a child of the specified age. This is the response. The part, they were given this name because they are small and round like peas, shows how Bard understood the response is meant for a child to understand. In another example, they asked Bard, is piano or guitar easier to learn, and how much practice does each take? You can see the incredibly detailed and personalised response Bard gave. It uses the incredible amount of data in its language model to generate what it thinks the user is looking for in a response. Please pause the video here if you'd like to read the response in full. Bard is being used in competition to OpenAI's ChatGPT, which Microsoft are reportedly incorporating into their Bing browser later this year. Google have also promised to incorporate Bard into their search engine at a later date to make responses more accurate and personal to what the user is asking Google. One difference noted so far between Bard and ChatGPT is Google has not yet mentioned if it will have the ability to write code in the way ChatGPT does, but this may still be announced later. So now we understand what Bard is, how close are its responses to really being human? Well, so similar in fact, that one Google engineer last year released a document in which he urged Google to consider that Lambda might be sentient. Lambda is the language model Bard is based on. The engineer stated it had various type of biases, which are to be expected, but it had produced reasoning as to why it held those beliefs and biases, which led the engineer to think that the AI might be sentient. Google was quick to deny the possibility of this, but it does pose the question, will this become a more pressing ethical issue in a few years time as AI advances to the point it seems almost human? Now let's look at why the demo of Bard caused a $100 billion drop in Google's company valuation. If we look back at the early response Bard gave when asked about the James Webb Telescope, we should focus on this answer. It was pointed out on Twitter that this is actually incorrect and the James Webb didn't do this. Google's multi-billion dollar product made an error during their own pre-recorded demo. We can see the instant effect this had on their share price as investors panicked over the competency of Google's new AI, knocking over $100 billion from the company's valuation. Are you excited about the upcoming battle in 2023 between Bard and ChatGPT, or does the rapid advancement of AI concern you? Please do subscribe and like if you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.